Hi everyone, it's Nishi here. Hope you're a really good day. So in today's video, what I want to talk about is why doing things the easy way in your business isn't cheating. The reason I want to do this video is I, I come across business owners and sometimes I feel it myself where if I've gone from a really busy period of time, then it goes quiet. Like in that quiet period, I, I'm thinking I need to find something to do to really fill up this time and work myself to exhaustion. Because if I'm not working myself to exhaustion, I don't feel like I'm really doing enough and growing my business. But over the years, I've realized actually when you've got your busy periods, you've got to obviously get things done. But when you've got your quiet periods as a business owner, you've got to enjoy them as well. And sometimes taking it easier, maybe spending more time on business development, increasing your business knowledge and um, and, and look, getting into all these resources about business. That's a really valuable thing to do in your quiet periods as well. So it's the, the reason why you've got to make the most of these quiet periods is business is so unpredictable it can throw all these things at you that you weren't necessarily expecting and there'll be times where you work really really hard to deal with all those things you weren't expecting but ultimately your main focus as a business owner one of your main focuses is just managing your own mental energy because i know a lot of business owners out there that burnt out because they're just doing thing after thing after thing and they never it's, it's almost like running marathons back to back they never get this recovery period in between the operations and their business and that's why um and i think a lot of it does come down to mindset a lot one of one of the things you really get like used to dealing with when you've been running a business long enough is just this sometimes this feeling of helplessness there's a lot of things that affect your business that are just outside of your control and there's and also this feeling of impatience you know what you want to do you know you want to grow but you've you're relying on so many other people that have got to then just get to the same level before you can start moving forward together so that happens a lot in business and one of one of the ways business owners i've seen deal with it is just by doing more stuff but a lot of the time they rob themselves of that rest period that they really need because then when the next unexpected thing comes up or the next really intense phase in their business comes up then they're not at that 100 percent, and they often then end up making mistakes and those mistakes then can sometimes cost them their business so really this video is about why um why doing things the easy way in the business isn't cheating and the reason for that is when you do something the easy way you can bet there's something else in your business you're going to have to do the hard way there's you can bet there's something else that will take up a load of your energy so all you're doing is you're trying to average everything out if you try and deal with all the really hard things and then make the easy things hard um then you, that's where you really struggle to grow so all i'm saying is when you've got an easy opportunity to do something when something seems a bit too good to be true obviously always ask the right kind of questions but um, if, if there's an easy way to do something in your business, just take it because that's your recovery period and you'll be glad, glad you did because later on you're going to have to, it'll get more intense. So if you found this video useful, if you find any of the other stuff useful, go to our YouTube channel. It, you, all you have to do is put naccounting.co.uk into YouTube and um, you'll come to our YouTube channel because we've got some really good quality content there. And if you find like you want to talk about any specific things that we're talking about relating to your own business in relation to your own business all you need to do is go to our website and book yourself in for a free strategy session with myself and we can um, then talk about how all this applies to your own business so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video